Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to talk to you about the Meta Viewport tag. Okay, so the other day I was over at this particular website, Tilly uh, and Durables. Basically, they make hats, and I was using my iPod Touch as my as my browser. So I'm just at home browsing around on the web, and I want to find out some sizing information on this hat. I go to this website, and the website does not display well at all in my mobile device, my iPod Touch, and even worse, I cannot pinch and zoom. I can't resize it, and the mistake that they were making over at this site. Let me go ahead and zoom in real quick here. It's right here. They do have the meta viewport tag. It's meta name equals viewport. But look at this for their content. They included user scalable no. They've taken away the user's ability to resize this this web page. It was pretty unusable on my mobile device. Really couldn't and enjoy the site. Couldn't read it, and I certainly couldn't make a decision decision about the product. So I've got a, a page here set up. And basically, this page doesn't have much to it, but I've got an image and I've got some text. And this is a web page if I don't do any meta viewport up in the head section. So you can see how it looks on a mobile device. It's not bad. It's certainly very tiny. The user would have to zoom in to see what's going on. And unfortunately, when they zoom in, then they would have to swipe left and right to kind of read the text. So it's not good to leave out the meta viewport, especially if you have any intention of making a mobile friendly web page. So in your head section, meta name equals viewport, content equals at the bare minimum, width equals device width. Now, this isn't enough. But if we just stopped here, the page is actually going to look a little bit better in mobile. It zooms in a little bit better, understanding that the device being used is narrower. But if you go into portrait mode, it doesn't know to rescale to this new width. So that's not going to be good there. So in addition to width equals device width, comma, initial scale equals 1. This is really what all of your web pages should have. Meta name viewport content equals width equals device width, comma, initial scale one. Using this particular method, page looks good in portrait. When the device is put into landscape mode, looks looks good in landscape. Now there's a few other values we can put into the meta viewport under content, but I'm not even going to type them. I don't even want, to, even want to demonstrate them. But basically, minimum scale, maximum scale, and of course, user scalable, what Tilly Hats was using. The only time you might want to take away the user's ability to zoom in and scale a particular web page is if it's truly a web application and all of the features are designed for that app. But for a responsive website, one that is styled based on desktop users and mobile users, these are the only two that you're going to stick with. Width equals device width, initial scale equals one.